Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As promised, today's video is all about teasing hair. I tried something different with the voiceover and title so let's see how this goes. Also, just keep in mind there is no right or wrong way to tease hair. These are just a few tips and tricks I use to lessen the damage of teasing on my own hair. So, let's get to it. You don't always have to tease your hair to get the teased effect. Sometimes a bump it or a donut bun will do just fine. If you look at the donut bun, it kind of looks like that. I actually already ripped mine, but it looks like that. So you can get those and actually cut them right down here like I've done. And then just open them up a little bit and roll them back loosely. If you do that, you can actually use it like a bump it. So if I part my hair, I'll just show you how to look. I part my hair, I can place it underneath with two bobby pins, pin it down here, and that's what it will look like. So, If you have curly, wavy, or dry hair, a thin comb is the way to go. If you already have curly or dry or like hair that's not too silky, you can always just go in with it with a thin comb. So people that have curly hair and if they're straightening it, they shouldn't straighten this part. That will actually help right now when you're teasing because then you won't actually see. You can just insert the comb and just pull downwards and it'll tease automatically without you having to use products. Some people do end up using products, a lot of product in their hair. If you do, that's fine, completely up to you. I'm not saying anything about that, but I prefer that you don't, but if you are going to do it, by all means, go ahead. Um, my hair looks kind of crazy right now. Sorry guys, my hair was being annoying. What I'm going to be doing is parting my hair right around here because I actually want to tease it quite a bit. Take a clip and clip that hair in. A teasing brush works best on thin and silky hair. This teasing comb works best on people that have already straight hair or have silky hair because it kind of makes their hair rougher. So what you do with this teasing comb is you'll go underneath the hair and you'll pull it like so. So you'll be like going like that to the hair. So when you do that, it actually works better. For thick and coarse hair, use a thick comb to keep the damage at a minimum. Okay, so I just want to talk about now using a big comb. If you are using a big comb for coarser hair, all you really need to do is just take your hair and you're going to be combing. I'm just showing it down here. Don't ever tease this part. It'll look really weird, but um, you're just going to be taking it and pulling it in. Always remember, slow and large strokes cause less damage. And the one mistake that I see a lot of people doing is if I actually pick up my hair and I show you guys, pick it up. Um, a lot of people will take combs and tease combs and they'll just kind of like go like this. You should never do that. Firstly, you're damaging your hair, but you're also not teasing it properly. So what you should be doing is actually putting the comb through your hair and then pulling down like that. If you don't need products in your hair, don't use them. If you do have curly hair and you are and you are um, teasing it, don't apply any product. Chances are your hair will actually stay teased more without any products and will look better. I promise you that because I have really curly hair. I don't put product in it when I'm teasing because it'll actually stay and it's very smooth. So you can actually run your hair, your hands through without your hands going in and getting stuck. Like what the is this? If you do require products, only spray the tease section. Let's keep the damage at a minimum. But yeah, um, people that are spraying it, you should never actually spray the top part of your hair when you're when you're teasing it. I'm, I always use my Chi hairspray. I love this thing, it smells so good. The back of it, like that, and then comb the And that's about it for my tips and tricks on teasing hair. 
Okay guys, so that's about it for teasing hair. I didn't tease it too much as you can see because I'm going to the park, but I hope that kind of gives you a gist of like how much it should be teased and how little it should be teased. It shouldn't be teased too, teased, teased too much. I'm having issues speaking. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, comment in the section below. Give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Hopefully, I'll record a video soon. Write in the comment section what you would like me to record next or what you guys want to see next. And I will post it up. Thank you for watching. Peace out.